Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready for the word of God? Yes. Tell somebody I'm powerful. I'm powerful. I can feel you. I'm powerful. How many people know that there's some power inside of them? How many people know there's power inside of them? And Sister Nestine from Sierra Leone, God bless you. Coming all the way from Sierra Leone, God bless you for being here. Tell somebody, I'm powerful. I'm powerful. One more time, let's go. I'm powerful. And today, there's a family that has a thanksgiving here. We give them the opportunity to go through their thanksgiving. Everybody, listen to me, you are powerful. That's right. If you call yourself a Christian, there is something you carry. In this next three weeks, you are going to see something so powerful as never before. Don't miss any of the services. And uh, God will bless your life in Jesus' name. Are you ready for the reading of the word of God? Yes. Colossians chapter 1 verse 11. Colossians chapter 1 verse 11. And after the testimonies conference too, uh, we have IS. Amen. Uh, IS will be at UPS. Can I get a poster? Um, and, um, um, let's all go and support. It will be on a Thursday, on a Friday. Let's all be there and uh, support those who want to go. Uh, um, transportation will be here to take you if you will. Amen. Amen. And those that want to meet us also at the day too, we'll be there with you. Amen. Let's go. Colossians chapter 1 verse 11. Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyfully and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. The last one. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved son, the son whom he loves. Amen. Amen. Help me to speak to somebody first service. Look in the face of somebody and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. You are qualified. You are qualified. For that power. For that power. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody else and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. I have that power. I have that power. Because I'm qualified. Because I'm qualified. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. 18th January, 18th July, 1918. To the 5th December, 2013. A man was born who made a great impact in his world. He lived all the way to 95 years. The man slept in three different prisons from 1962. One prison he slept there for a long time was called Robin Island Prison. The other prison he also slept in was called Portsmouth Prison. And the last prison he slept in for a short time was called Victor Vesta Prison. Before they sentenced this particular man into prison, he had a court wicked prosecutor. The name of the prosecutor was called Persecutor. He brought allegations against this man and said to this man that you have committed the treason. You are against the government. So we are supposed to sentence you to death. I'm talking about Nelson Mandela. The moment they went to court, the judge went through all the argument and said to the prosecutor, prosecutor, and said, you don't have enough evidence. But the prosecutor said, I'll have to make sure we put this guy into prison. So they dismissed the case. Then the prosecutor, prosecutor, tried to go and look for 173 witnesses to come and testify against Nelson Mandela until they have to put him in prison. For 27 years. In prison for 27 years. He couldn't control anything at all. He couldn't say anything. Whatever he wanted to do. He was being controlled. But whilst he was in prison. He was writing a lot of letters. And all the letters he were writing. It will come out and become something so powerful. But after 1990. The guy they put in prison for 27 years came out. And became the first president of the nation of South Africa. When he became a president. Now the people that used to torment him. Those who used to fight him. Those who used to frustrate him. All of them came down before him to bow down to him. Because he has become a president. And now power has been given to him. If power was given to a president. For his enemies to bow down unto him. 
then there's somebody here you are not a president but you are a child of the living god that's right and because of the power that you carry whatever used to chase you whatever used to fight you whatever used to torment you is about to bow down to you right now amen if you believe that something's about to bow down to you can you clap once and shout yeah. unto the name of the lord we didn't come to the kingdom of light just to come and play and joke but we came to the kingdom of light to exercise our authority it would be a very great error for one person in the church to become only powerful across the body of christ we only mention few names and say this one is the most powerful one is a big error but the moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, he places something inside of you. And that thing is called power. When that power comes on you, physically, you don't look like it. But the power you carry is inherent. It's inside of you. So people can underestimate you. But when you open your mouth, power begins to speak. Right. One area you can identify power is according to what the person says. Power is shown by the word from your mouth. You can sit in the White House in America, but you can command soldiers in Afghanistan to throw a bomb and they will throw. If a, a president in the White House can command a soldier in Afghanistan many miles away to throw a bomb and the soldier over there can throw a bomb, then there's somebody here, you can sit in your house and you command angels to throw a bomb in the camp of your enemies. Amen. And something can happen over there. Shout, I am powerful. I am powerful. Now listen to me. The power God has given to you, if you don't know, you can use it. If you don't identify it, you can use that power. But I came as a servant of God to let you know you carry that power. Amen. So this is the time to exercise the power God has given unto you. Now we go into our test and he says, he says, he says, now God has strengthened us. He's given us power according to his might. So the power we carry is not from anyone, but it's according to the might of God. If the might of God is small, then our power is small. And if the might of God is big, then our power is big. And God's name is called the almighty God. It means according to all might, he is the mighty one. So oh. according to that. So it says, I'm giving you the particular power according to what I carry. If I want to give you money based on the money I have, I will check what I have before I give it to you. If I don't have money, I can't give you money according to what I have because I, I don't have. But God says, I will give you power according to my might. So if God can speak for sickness to go away, and God is giving me the same power, then I can also speak for sickness to go away. And hear me, you are about to move to a point in your life where you will not be afraid of witches and wizards. That's right. Because the power inside of you will translate you from darkness into light. And enjoy that power. Shall power. Power. He says, I give you power according to my might. So that you can endure. Why will you endure? Because there will be battles. There will be afflictions. But I will give you the authority to endure. Why? Because the power is inside of you. That goes down to say because he has qualified you. The reason why you are working where you are is because when you went to the interview, you were qualified. The reason why you were able to go to that university is because after the, after the SSC or FNC WASI, after the SSC or the WASI, your results qualified you for that particular school. So you are where you are in life because something qualified you. And the Lord says, this power I'm giving to you, nobody else qualified you. I, God, I qualified you. So when you are using that power, don't be afraid of anybody. Don't be afraid of what somebody will say. Because the qualification didn't come from your mother. The qualification didn't come from your father. The qualification came from God. So the one who qualified you is God. That's right. I'm speaking to somebody right now. I came to let you know you are qualified. You are qualified. Amen. I said you are qualified. You Amen. are qualified. You are qualified. Now listen. When you are driving on the road and you don't have a license. When you see any guy wearing black on the roadside, you begin to panic. The reason is because you don't have something they call lines. The license is called the qualification license. 
you qualify to drive. If you don't have the license, you don't qualify. So when you see the police officer there, you are panicking because I don't qualify. So right now, when you see a demon, when you see trouble, when you see calamity, don't be afraid of the calamity. Tell the calamity, I want to stop you because I qualify. I have the lenses. I have the lenses to operate. I have the lenses to break the subject of poverty in my family. Right. Whatever was in your family today, by the power you carry in the name of Jesus, Jesus. I came to let you know, you qualify. My God. I said you qualify. My God. Shout, I qualify. I qualify. Now, when you carry that power that you qualify, you change your atmosphere. The moment you enter into a place and you don't feel the atmosphere, you can change the atmosphere to what you like. Don't run away from the bad atmosphere. Set the tone of the atmosphere and something will happen. Listen. If somebody can put juju on somebody's chair, for the person to sit on the chair and get stroke from another power, now that I qualify, I can also sit on the chair. And I will tell somebody, if you have power, come and sit on the chair and let's see. Because what is on me is on the chair. Sure. And it will electrify that particular power. Sure. So I'm powerful. I'm powerful. Now, through the same power, you declare in your area where you live. And you speak in that atmosphere and you declare no death in this area no affliction in this area any territorial power that works around this area i block it right now because one person can change an area no oh, I, I i i don't know the person but the person is over here there's one person here you are changing your area. Amen. You are changing your hometown. Amen. You are changing everywhere you go. Shout, I'm powerful. I'm powerful. Now it says, now that he has qualified me, he has rescued me from darkness into another world, the kingdom of his beloved son. He has rescued me from darkness. So we suggest that everybody hear me. There's nobody here that is perfect. Why? Because all of us used to be in darkness. But we are no more in darkness. Now we are in light. Now, the good news is that when I'm in light, I begin to exhibit light. So now, because I've moved from darkness into light, there's a kind of light on me. When I get to a place where there is darkness, only me, I begin to shine. That's right. I begin to cause some things to be happening around people because the light in me, the Bible says, now you are the light of the world. So there is light on you from today. Stop that darkness. Amen. Change that darkness. Amen. Now listen. Thieves, armed robbers, they like to hide in darkness. When the lights are out, thieves show up. Snakes like darkness because they can operate in darkness. The Lord says, whatever has operated in your family for the past hundred years Jesus. because it was operating in the disguise of darkness because you have been moving in light from today i prophesy and i declare jesus by the count of three let there be light Amen. by the count of three let there be light Amen. i said by the count of three let there be light one two three let there be light in the name of jesus Amen. now i move to any location of darkness jesus any occultic kingdom, my God. Any juju, Jesus. Any occultic master, my God. Any false prophet, Jesus. Any evil person, my God. Witches and wizards, Jesus. Where they gather together, yes, Lord. Today I enter there as light, my God. With you over there, my God. That we dismantle the agony, we dismantle the crisis. Amen. We come against the shadow of darkness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is operating in your life, my God. Because of the power. I declare it is over. Amen. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Shut up, powerful. I'm powerful. You may be seated. You may be seated. Prophet Daniel. Prophet Daniel. You're telling me I'm powerful. You're telling me I move from darkness into light. Prophet Daniel. How do I get the confidence to know I'm moving in light? I might say the truth. Yes. I come to show you that the reason why you are moving in power is because where you are staying right now, I don't know where you stay, whether you stay in Bachona, Spintes, Nungua, or Islegon. I want you to know that 
from today, when people ask you, where do you live? Hear me? When people ask you, where do you live? Don't tell them you don't live in Spinters anymore. Okay. Uh, I'm confusing some people. That's good. Amen. Uh, when somebody asks you, where do you live? Don't tell them you live in Tema. Never from today. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Prophet Daniel, when, when, when I'm going for an interview and they say, where do you live? What do I write? Uh, don't write Tema again. Amen. Um, right, right, right on the list. Amen. I'm, I beg you, be very careful. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Tell the people, listen to me, tell the people, I don't live in Spinters anymore. I live in Jesus. Uh, oh, I, oh, I can't feel somebody. I said, you're about to tell them, I live in Jesus. Okay. Um, um, Acts chapter 17, verse 28. Let's see something there. I come to show you where you live in the supernatural. It's here, it says, in him we live and move. In him we live. So right now, I don't live in Spentes anymore. I live in Jesus in Spentes. Ah, ah, I don't live in Tama anymore. I live in Jesus in Tama. So if you want to locate me, locate Jesus in Tama and you will find me. I speak in the name of Jesus. You are hidden in Jesus. You live in Jesus. You stay in Jesus. Can I get 200 people here to shout, I live in Jesus? I live in Jesus. I can't feel you. I can't feel you. I live in Jesus. I can't feel you. I live in Jesus. For the last time. I live in Jesus. So hear me. So now we are building the confidence. Why I'm powerful is because I live in Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. I live in Jesus. It says, but because of his great love for us. God, who is rich in mercy. So, before I was a Christian, I was a bad boy. Before you were a Christian, you were a bad girl. But God, who was rich in mercy, because he loves you, he did something. He made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in our sins. It is by grace you have been saved. So, this power we are talking about, we didn't buy this power we are talking about, we didn't go to search for it. It came to us by grace. Sure. And because of that grace, God that is rich in mercy, he's given us that power. And I like the, la the, la the last verse 6 there. It says, and God raised us up. With who? Christ. I can feel you. Christ. I can feel you. Christ. Again. Christ. Again. With Christ. And seated us with him in heavenly places. So you are, you are not sitting on your chair right now. When I walk into Jesus, I sit in heavenly places. Right now, I'm no more in the F realm. I'm in the heavenly realms. So when you call my name on the aquatic altar, my name will not appear because I'm in the heavenly realms. That's right. Oh, I can't feel somebody. When they call for your soul, your soul will not appear because I'm located in the heavenly realms. He said, I'm seated with him. Can I get two chairs? Can I get two chairs? Can I get two chairs? No, 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 man of God, you are sitting on no, no. Just give me, get me two chairs from the back there. Good. Yeah, yeah. He says, I'm seated with him. Say, I'm seated with him. Oh, I can't feel somebody. Wow. Good. I'm seated with him in heavenly places. So thank you. As sit here for me, you are Jesus. Sit here for me, you are God. Oh, get, get me another chair, Madam Osha. Very quick, very quick for me. Get me another chair. Come. Now, this is the Christian. This is the Christian. So this is God, this is Jesus, and this is you. You used to be in darkness. You used to be in darkness. But right now, he says, you are seated with him in heavenly places. So, Prophet Daniel, how do I know that I'm sitting close to God? Can I tell you? Oh, I said, can I tell you? How do I know I'm sitting with Christ? 
in heavenly places. How do I know? Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. How do I know? How do I know? How do I know? So we're about to locate. Now we are looking for where you stay. We are looking for where you stay. He says, since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things that are above. Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. So Christ, this is God, is seated at the right hand of God. And the Bible says, that's where I am located. So the same right hand is either I'm inside of Christ or I'm sitting on Christ. So when you are looking for me, check for me at the right hand of God. Because my location, my address have just changed. Oh, I can't feel somebody. Verse 2. Verse 2. Look at verse 2. So now, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. It means set your mind on higher things. Now, don't be afraid of what somebody can do you over here. Because right now, my, my, the power I carry is above this realm. The power I carry is more than this realm. Right now, I live in another realm. So I don't think about here. So I can command in my family and declare, let there be light. Let there be favor. Let there be miracles. Let there be wealth. Let there be long life. And there will be long life. Tell somebody I'm powerful. So hear me. Where are you located? Where are you located? Perfect. Where are you located? In Jesus, in heavenly places, at the right hand of God. Now look at the verse 3. And, and I'll have five minutes to go. He says, for you died. And your life, now. Someone say now. now. Say now. now. Where is your life now? Where, no, no, on, 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 in the test. Where is your life now? Where is your life now? Hidden in Christ. Where is Pastor Dennis? Hidden in Christ. So right now, this is Christ. And now, I am hidden in Christ. Come down for me. I am hidden. Go down for me, man of God. I am hidden. Go down for me. Small. I am hidden in Christ. So nobody can see Daniel again. People will see Daniel through Christ. <laughs> Hear me? Look at the words that are being played over here. The Bible could have said, your life is in Christ. But the Bible says your life is hidden. Two, two things here. We, we can say your life is in Christ. And your life is hidden in Christ. If my life is in Christ, anybody can see me. But when my life is hidden, it takes somebody to break a code to see me. Wait, wait. When you are looking for diamonds, diamond is not in the earth. Diamond is hidden. For you to get one diamond... Well, one day I'll talk to you about it. When, for, you, for, for you to get diamond, you have to dig deep, go into the gravel, break the gravel, do all the washing. And after doing all the washing, sometimes you can do washing for one month, you've not seen even one diamond. Because the diamond is hidden. And all the washing, there will be a lot of cracking everywhere. But when the diamond comes out, there will be no crack on the diamond. Because the diamond is specially hidden inside. But it takes somebody to break the code. So right now, if you are hidden in Jesus, oh Jesus! Wait, 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 wait! I, I just heard the rima in the spiritual realm. Can I tell you? Oh my! Can I tell you? The Lord said, Daniel, if I've hidden my people in Christ, oh Jesus! I like what I'm about to say. Can I tell you? People will not have easy access to you. From today, things are not going to have easy access to you. Some people, sicknesses have easy access to them. Pain have easy access to them. But today, you are hidden. Before sickness will have an access, you've got to break a code. And that code to the sickness cannot break it. Today, you, your family, your loved ones, anybody you love, I hide you all. I push you all inside of jesus inside of christ you are inside of christ receive power receive grace you are hidden in jesus 
when you're going for a meeting and you want favor you just declare i'm inside of christ so now when i'm moving i don't move myself now i'm inside of christ christ come and and, and christian, uh, christian be behind christ so when i'm going somewhere this, so where is daniel this is daniel where is Amma? this is Amma. but before Amma will be shown christ have to be shown first So that's why he confirmed and said, in him we move and live and have our being. Because I live, man of God, help me. Because in him I move and live and have my being. So I move in life, I walk in life inside of a cocoon. And that cocoon is Jesus Christ. Who told you you are not powerful? Thank you. Who told you you are not powerful? Christians are scared to death. Now we go to funerals and we are afraid to greet some people. That this one there, when you try this one, this one can kill you. So before you greet, you say, hey, hey, you carry the power. Your hands is full of electricity. Look at the person and say, I want to shake you. I speak that same power over your life. Receive that grace as never before. Some say, I'm powerful. One more time, let's go. My last one is, let's go, Ephesians 1 verse 20. I'm powerful. I'm powerful. And let's say this season, we will do practical exercises. When he exerted in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and seated him, the same place, at the right hand of the, in the, at the right hand in the, so he joins the two, at the right hand in the heavenly realms. So listen to me, as you are moving in life, you are floating. So when there's to do on the ground, when I get there, I'm floating because I'm in the heavenly realms. I move to your house. May your house float in the heavenly realms. I move to your destiny. May your destiny float in the heavenly realms. So power. 21, 21, 21. Far above. Far above. All rules authority all power all dominion every title that can be given not even in the present age but in the one to come so jesus is seated high above if jesus is seated high above where i am or am i i'm also inside of him so if jesus is seated high above me too i am high i speak by this rumor that you are high above I said you are above you are above you are above you are above pain you are above calamity by the word of god in my mouth i speak in jesus name you are high above shut i am above say i am above say i am above now now let's go let's go to my last test ephesians 5 verse 15 okay so prophet daniel so why did god give me this power why this is the answer next week i'll give you uh, the power over demons he says be very careful how you live not as people who are not wise but as wise people let's go verse 16. making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil so god has given you the power because the days are Clap your hands. So why is God giving me the power? Why? 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 So the days are evil. So when I have the power and I meet the day of evil, I tell the day of evil, the day of evil, I control you because you can't control me. Today I speak by authority. I speak by strength. May God empower you. Say I'm powerful. One more time. Let's go. One more time, let's go. Now hear me. So something happened in the Bible, and I'll be done with this one. One day there's a man who used to be a criminal. He's a bad man. He kills people. The name of this bad man is called Apostle Paul. His name was called Saul. He killed Christians, destroyed, tormented their lives. He had an encounter with the lights. Do you remember? He was going to kill Christian. He saw light. Why? Because he was moving from darkness into light. 
he started doing the work of God. Then the Bible says one day, whilst he was moving about, Acts chapter 16, verse 16, and I'll be down. Can I come down? Yes. Let's go. Acts chapter 16. Church, hear me? I want every member of our worship to be so powerful that when you have a problem, you don't call Prophet Daniel. When you have a problem, you sit in front of the trouble and say, trouble, leave here, leave here, leave here, leave here, leave here. This is where I want you to be. Amen. When there's pain over your child at night, I don't want you to pick phone and make a phone call or send audio, audio, WhatsApp. Prophet has said, no! Take your child and declare. You, that darkness, go! Get out! Get out! And it will get out. Amen. Because light and darkness cannot survive at one place. So Apostle Paul is moving up and now. Once upon a time, they were going to their place of prayer where they met a slave girl who carried an evil spirit. Who predicted by, by fortune telling, she earned a great deal of money for her owners. This girl followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, the girl is a demon, but this is what the girl is saying. These men are the servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. She's still a demon. I'm getting feedback. Let's go. She kept this for many days. Finally, Paul became so troubled and turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus, give me KGV, whether it said demon. Let's go. L let's see. Grieved and said to the spirit, okay, other translations say so. Give me the NIV still, NIV still. In the name of Jesus, I command you to come out of her. And at that moment, the spirit left her. Hear me? So Paul is moving about. Give me a translation that says demon, please. Now listen to me. Paul is moving about. And th this is how, this is what was going on. Let's go. These are sons of God. These are men of God. Okay, wait. The, 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 the NLT says demon. And said to the demon within her. But the demon is saying, this is a man of God. Oh. Get it? So this is a, no, no, it was a girl, a girl come and a baby. So, so just be saying, this is a man of God. This is the man of God. This is a man of God. Listen to me. Let's go. Listen to him. And <laughs> Let's go. Listen, listen. Paul is preaching. The girl is doing this for many days. The Bible says, but the girl didn't insult Paul. Did the girl insult Paul? No! But Paul carried the spirit. When you carry the spirit and the power, you can identify who is good and who is bad. There are many people behind you. They are praising you. But behind the scenes, they carry a demon. But the power in the house, I stand on the altar. Whoever is following you, who carries a demonic power, by authority, by power, by grace, by strength, let them go away. Shout out! Shout out! Say now! Whoever is behind me, whatever is behind me, tormenting my life, out! 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 Listen, listen, in my last one minute, listen to me. Listen, listen, come again. She was not insulting. She was doing something good. But, Paul didn't like it. It means when the power, Jesus, can I tell you? When the power comes on you, you are able to identify who is good and who is bad. Oh. You are able to know who is correct and who is not correct listen whatever follows you jesus that is saying good things but the spirit behind the good things is a demon i declare by the count of three jesus let it leave you right now Amen. by the count of three jesus. let it leave you right now Amen. one two three out Amen. now the last one listen 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 following them the Bible says it went on for days. Which means on the first day, Paul thought it was good. Second day, Paul thought it was good. But after many days, Paul said, no, 
This one is a counterfeit. Any counterfeit. Jesus. Any fake. My God. Whatever is not authentic. That is following you. My God. Some of you, your own is not days. Your own is months. Your own is years. Whatever tormented your father, tormented your mother, tormented your ancestors for many days, for many weeks, for many months, for many years. By the power we have today, because you are seated with Jesus, I declare right now, Jesus. let it live your life. Let it move away from your life. I disconnect. I break it. Someone shall break. break. Sit down. Sit down. And, and hear me. And that said to the demon within her, come out. And instantly it left her. The moment it left her, verse 19, I'll be done. Her masters became upset. Which means the girl following them. Who is this girl? The girl was a soothsayer. She's a fortune teller. She's like a malam. You go to her, she tells you things, and they give you money. But she had masters that were controlling her. So they saw that Paul came to do miracles there. So they wanted to distract Paul because when Paul came and convert them, people would not come to them again. So what the girl was doing, the masters were behind it. So if every demon manipulation, there's always somebody behind it. So they want to pause here one minute whilst I end the sermon. Who is behind it? Who is behind it? Can I ask for the last time? Who is behind it? Be on your feet. Thank you. The moment the demons came out, the master showed up. <laughs> People have been through pain because someone was behind it. You're about to lift up one prayer. They will see an amazing testimony. A sister who had a fallopian tube cut, but she's pregnant. We will see it very soon. Lift up your right hand. This is one prayer. Church, this, this series, I want to make you angry. That's right. I want you to walk so powerfully wherever you go that you walk with confidence. Sometimes some people have some talisman and some things around them, and they walk with confidence and say, Hey, do you know what I carry? Do not I wear. If, if talisman can help them, how much more the power you carry. That's right. Now you are seated with Jesus inside of him. Say by power. By power. Oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. I thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Now I know. Now I know that I live in you. I live in you. Let your Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit come on me. Come on me to enjoy. To enjoy that power. That power to work with the power. To work with the power now by fire. By fire. Acts chapter one verse eight. Let's go. Acts chapter one verse eight. Acts chapter one verse eight. Let's go. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes. Has it come? Yes. So where's your power? Has it come? Yes. Sis, has it come? Yes. Bro, has it come? Yes. So where's your power? I told you a story on Tuesday. A brother who was going to his hometown for funeral. Every time he's going, he's afraid. So one day I said to him, take my man to take it, go. He said that day he went with confidence. And one uncle, you know, there's always an uncle. That's right. Everybody's afraid of that. So anybody who goes to hometown, you try not to greet his hands. Because if you greet his hands, you don't come back. He said some, something, something moved him. He greeted the uncle's hand. That his friend by him said, ah, now, what you in the man, now? I said, no, but me, so become a prophet, my man will be. While they were sitting down there eating and talking, the uncle came back to him again and said, how are you? But why did you greet my hand today? So the uncle wants to scare him. He said, no, uncle said, I've not greeted your hand for a long time. So he said, he's there. The uncle will go, ah, now uncle, now I'm back. Ah, you, 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 you greeted my hand today, oh. He said, uncle, I don't know. Do you know that after two weeks, the uncle had a stroke, and as I'm talking right now, they're buried the uncle. Because listen, the question the uncle was asking, people didn't know. The uncle was trying to say that, ah, you have tormented me. What is stable me? What me? Listen, this is the kind of believers I want us to raise. Amen. Say by power. By power. 
by the spirit of God. By the spirit of God. I am empowered. I am empowered. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Set my life, set my life. on fire. On fire. Now, now. When I speak, speak. Let, there be power. let there be power. When I walk, when I walk. Let, there be power. let there be power. When I go anywhere, when I go anywhere. Let, there be power. let there be power. Let my atmosphere, let my, atmosphere. my environment, my environment. Power. Carry power as I clap, as I, clap. As I pray. As I pray. Prayer service, clap your hands. Pray right now by power. Pray right now by power. We move, we walk with the power. Somebody, this is your only prayer. Enjoy that power. Somebody pray. Yakaba. Enjoy the power by authority, by strength, by grace, by power. Somebody pray. Enjoy power. Somebody pray. Make contact with power. Make contact. Somebody pray. Receive power. In the name of Jesus. Today, put your own hand on your head. Today, I'm not putting my hand on you. Today, the same, the same power is in mind. The same is in your hands. Say by power. By power. I set my life on fire. I set my life on fire. I am untouchable. I am untouchable. I move with grace. I move with grace. Now. Now that you carry this power, now ten, point your hand to where you stay. You are sending power there. Say by power. By power. Visit my house. Visit my house. Now point to where you work. If you don't work, point to where you want to work. Say by power. By power. Say by power. By power. I visit my workplace. I visit my workplace. Now point to your hometown. Mazata papaya. Say by power. By power. By power. By power. I move. I move. To my hometown. To my hometown. Let the same power. Let the same power. Work, there. work there. Now last one. This one. Point it anywhere you want. Any location where your information has been placed, your photo, your name, your picture, any Babala, you first prophet, any place, send it there right now. Now, same fire, the same power, 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 the same power. You have one player to go. Same power. Same power. Anywhere. Anywhere, somebody pray. on the altar let the power that works in this commission Jesus. the anointing that works in this church let it work for you Jesus. let it work for you Jesus. i declare receive power I receive it. whatever is yours that was taken away i command you to receive it Jesus. clap your hands you may be seated